Hey guys, this is Jeremy Hughes, and I just wanted to share a quick little tip about how to uh, get some motion graphic power out of uh, Fusion. Um, Fusion is such a capable app, and one of the things that drives me nuts is it's just so hard to find um, good tutorials on it, uh, especially for uh, us motion graphics guys uh, who are doing that mainly. So what I what I've got here is I've got what would be you know the start of a little targeting um, you know targeting system similar to Iron Man 2 and um, I know Andrew Kramer on videocopilot.net did, uh, did a tutorial on how to build it out in there uh, using the uh, the wiggle tool which is such a powerful expression inside of After Effects but I could never figure out what the equivalent was inside of Fusion until last night so I was so excited I had to share it so how do we do this alright so let's uh, jump over to a new comp here and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, drag down a background layer and over here we'll see that we've got it's black I'm happy with that and we want another background layer and we'll make that one white what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag those together top to bottom which will merge them, there we go, with this one merged on top. Pull that up, drag that up there, and we can see we've got one big white window. Um, so the next step, what I want to do now is I want to um, mask this guy out by just clicking on the ellipse tool there. And I'm going to give myself some room by pulling that over. And the next step here is I'll just uh, I'll copy that, paste it, and I'm going to drag these together. And I'll drag this in a little bit, and you'll see nothing's happening yet. Why? Because I need to uh, change the paint mode from merge to subtract. Merge, they're just adding together. Alright, so now we've got this cool little circle, and I need to uh, carve it out. So what I'll do next is I'm going to click on my Polygon Mask tool. And just like what uh, Andrew was doing, Andrew, thank you for all your great tips. Um, I'm going to uh, put a point right in the middle of this and knock everything else out to the sides. Uh, the reason we do this is like it makes it really easy to expand and contract our mask on an arc. Then again, I'll pull these together, go to subtract. Now we've got this cool arc. All right, so let's move these over just a little here, and I'm going to drag down the transform tool. And now with the transform tool, I've got the ability if I want to to rotate this thing. Control Z. And um, but how do I get this to move smoothly? First, I've, I thought like, well, there's probably some random command um, or expression that I could type up. So I spent a bunch of time trying to figure that out. Um, but it was way simpler than that. So under angle here, this is what actually turns this guy. I'm going to right click on the bar, I'm going to go to modify with, shake. Shake is the equivalent of wiggle in Fusion. So what that does is it then gives me a modifier, I can see the modifier is active now with this little pill shape beside it. Click over here and what I've got is I've got smoothness, min, max, um, and the max since we're under angle we can look at you know 360 degrees as a full rotation and we'll say 250 right now and the smoothness smoothness is going to be the speed at which this thing is is jumping around how smooth it's arcing from one side back to the next and how smoothly it slows down basically it's easing so if I hit play here you can see it's got some nice easing happening there we turn that down it's going to go nuts the higher up it goes the smoother it's going to move 
so we'll keep that right about pretty close to the default. Now we've got that. Let's copy these out and paste them. I'm going to drag these together. Create another merge. Keep our merges a little bit. I'm stacking. I mean, I know a lot of the way like you know you, you can build out your node networks is going across, but for right now, we'll just stack, kind of treat them as layers. Um, go into our polygon tool here, and let's shorten this. And then the ellipse, we'll drag it in, and we'll drag the outer one in a little bit. And we'll go back to transform, and I'm going to change the random seed. So it's jumping off a little bit. And I'm also going to change this to 360. Let's copy that. Let's paste another network, no network, and drag them together. Maybe. There we go. And we'll do the same thing. Now, one of the problems I just made for myself, by the way, is I am not on keyframe zero. You know, I'm not on the frame on frame zero. So, with me dragging these masks around like this, I'm probably going to let's see here. I might be creating keyframes. It all depends on what your settings are. If you've got automatic keyframing on, um, let's take a look real quick. Yes, I am. I'm going to delete this first keyframe down here. Let's check this. I did the same thing. Let's check polygon one. See, now it's okay. Let's jump back to our flow. We might be all right with uh, with our ellipses. Yeah, see nothing's keyframe, so they're not showing up. But poly masks, they typically will keyframe. Oh, grabbing the wrong point there. Let's drag that in. Drag the outer one in. And let's make one more. I'm going to take myself back to frame zero here. Let's merge up. And what I want to do here is I'm going to drag this one out. I'm going to delete this poly mask for now. So I want to do something different. Yep. All right, so what I'm doing here is I am um, going to uh, I should be able to go to not add. Where are you? Oh, I'm sorry, subtract, and then we're going to invert that. So we'll pull this guy in here a little bit. Let's give ourselves some little points out there. Back to our transform node, modifiers, make sure we change the random seed here a little bit on some of these so we know that they're going to be moving here. I'll change this to 720. And let's take a look at what we got. Pretty cool. 
off a very easy to use modifier. Turn on the, go into those merges there. And you can always turn your, uh, turn your motion blur on. Got some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool stuff happening. And depending on the level of motion blur you want, you can you can really tweak that out and get something that's just really nice looking. Obviously, it slows down renders a little bit. You can see how it really starts to move there, though. But the easing is great. There's a ton of control. So, well, that's it. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps. Again, all you gotta do is just go in here, and you can do this with any of these. So, if I wanted to change the center point, for instance, I can do a modify with, and I've got sh the ability to shake. This is also where tracker position. You know, if I've got trackers or anything like that, um, there's a there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of really nice um, options. For you to choose from here really quickly so wave modifier probe perturb experiment have fun with it